I'm Susie Frazier, and here's a question for you. What do you think some of the top architects in the nation do in their own homes to make them more serene and inviting? To find out, I came to Shaker Heights, Ohio to see a dramatic living room focal point that visionaries Ron Reed and Vince Laskowski have built into their newly designed sanctuary. Hi. Hi, Susie, come in. Good morning. Nice to see you. You as well. And you guys have won more awards than most anyone I know for the great work you've done. How do we go from taking that wealth of knowledge and all of that talent and applying it to something so deeply personal like your living space. It was very interesting that he, he and I have worked together in the same offices for 40 years, but never on the same projects. We went off independently and we each did our own scheme. And we sat down on a Saturday night after cocktails and we played um, that, you know, that age old game, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> what came out of that was an understanding of what was non-negotiable and what was important and what was superfluous. I'm curious what some of those thematic non-negotiable things were that you felt like were an important part of how this house got designed. Big gestures, when there's a window, it's a wall of windows. Very large counters that flow into one another. Tell me how that played out in the fireplace. Well, the fireplace is like many of the other elements in the house. That larger than life gesture became very important in the thing. The idea that the mantle itself is 20 feet long and the fireplace just appears as if it was carved out of a single slab of granite. Symbolically, it's very meaningful to both of us. And oftentimes on Friday night, it was about building a fire, not with a gas jet, not with fake logs. It was doing it in the primitive way. The fireplace, like a number of the elements in the house, appear simple when you first look at it. There's a lot that goes into the execution. The biggest thing that we had to do was this, the miter corners. So it looks like it's one piece of material. And mm. without being this, this porcelain, you couldn't do that in a natural stone. Well, the one thing we knew from the beginning was that we were going to use the narrow marquina. It's always been my favorite materials. But with any material with which you're working, you need to find the intrinsic characteristics and draw those out. One of the beautiful things about the narrow marquina is the depth of it and the reflective qualities of it. With a fireplace, it's just, it's killer. You know, you not only have the fire in the firebox itself, but the fire playing off the hearth and then taking that to the next level. We said, what if we start doing the faceting in here and even doing the underside of the mantle in the same material as well, so that when you're building a fire, you have reflections playing off of reflections off of reflections. Wow, you guys, what a compelling feature. A lot of intentional choices have been made here to complement your design philosophies and the art that you love to collect. I can only imagine how cool this is at the end of the day where you just chill, have a fire going, have some downtime to yourselves. It's fabulous. If you'd like some more inspirational ideas for how to transform your home into a beautiful haven, check out montsurfaces.com.